नमस्कार फ्रेंड्स सो इन दिस वीडियो आई एम गोइंग टू टॉक अबाउट इन सीटू टू एंड एक्स सी टू कंजर्वेशन वट टाइप्स ऑफ रीजन इज कम अंडर इन सी टू वट टाइप्स ऑफ रीजन कम इन टू एक्स सी टू वॉट आर इन सी टू वॉट आर एक्स सी टू सो इन सी टू बेसिकली मीन्स वेन वी कंजर्व द नेचुरल प्लांट नेचुरल स्पीसीज इन देयर नेचुरल इन्वायरमेंट दैट मीन्स वेन वी कंजर्व प्लांट स्पीसीज इन देयर नेचुरल इन्वायरमेंट वी कॉल इज अ इन सी टू in situ conservation and when we make park zoological park botanical garden and uh, conserve that plant and that animal in naturally made uh, home or naturally made region that is called ex situ in conservation so in both we conserve the animal but one naturally one with the with one man made so natural conservation in situ conservation man made conservation ex situ conservation so national park bio uh, bio wildlife sanctuary and the sacred graves uh, and what i can say bio biosphere reserve all are like in situ because in biosphere reserve in national park in wildlife sanctuary in sacred grove these are naturally preserved and their plants animal have a less interference of human being but in ex situ conservation like zoological park botanical garden where people conserve it where we go to the zoo to see animal that means human interference is there we made a zoo and then put some animals some plant there and we conserve so in botanical garden we conserve plant in zoological garden or in zoo we conserve animal so these are type of etc and also now what is invert of fertilization and different different technology come through which we conserve the plants and animal so now i am going to talk about very briefly about in situ and etc conservation so in situ and etc conservation our country Our country, that means I am from India, so here I talk about India. Our country, in situ conservation efforts have reflected in this. So our country have made have put many efforts to conserve animals and plants in in situ manner. So these are like biosphere reserve, national park, wildlife sanctuary, many sacred groves. So we uh, we have India have 18 biosphere reserve, more than 100 five national park, uh, wildlife sanctuaries, or also I think 500 approx. Sacred groves are also more than 25 or 30, I think. So these are conserved by the government of India. So it, it is the in situ conservation. When government conserves biosphere reserve, government conserves national park, wildlife sanctuary, sacred groves, make policy program, release fund, and make program and ideas about this biosphere reserve, national park, wildlife sanctuary, and sacred groves. So this is a in situ conservation. Okay, we conserve the plants and animals in their natural form. Next one is ex situ conservation. Ex situ conservation method include like protective maintenance of threatened species, protective maintenance of threatened species in zoological park and botanical garden. So zoological park and botanical garden are example of ex situ conservation because here we uh, conserve or protect the threatened species. Second one is in vitro fertilization. That means in laboratory we fertilize the egg and sperm of the animal and plant. So it is called in uh, in vitro fertilization it is also man made because naturally they mate and child and flowers and fruits are uh, uh, come into play but here in in vitro in in vitro fertilization we in laboratory we mix up their eggs and their sperm or there you can say uh, uh, cells of uh, plants and we through this fertilization we produce flowers plant and fruits so it is called It is come under the ex situ conservation. Tissue culture, propagation. It is also with the help of tissue we grow plants and and animals. So it is also ex situ conservation. Cryo preservation of gametes. Gametes, you know what gametes are. So cryo preservation of gametes are also ex situ conservation. We conserve the gametes and later on, with the help of it, we produce plants and animals. So cryo preservation of gametes, tissue culture, in vitro fertilization. and protective maintenance of certain species in zoological park and botanical garden are come under the ex situ conservation so i hope you understand what ex situ conservation is here in this through this picture we clearly say ex situ conservation we human beings preserve animals and plants and in situ conservation we preserve present preserve animal, animal and plant in its natural environment so i hope you understand what is ex situ conservation is what is in situ conservation is example in is ex situ is in vitro fertilization cryo preservation of gametes okay zoological park botanical garden tissue culture 
institute is like bio biosphere reserve national park sacred graves and wildlife sanctuary so these are example and you understand the idea behind x situ and in situ conditions so now i am going to solve one question based on it and this is very important so that we have idea of what we learn is uh, in a true in a what we have learned is actually beneficial for us or not so which of the following are the method of x situ conservation remember x situ conservation botanical garden yes because it is man made cryo preservation of game axis yes, which is man made sacred groves no it is natural zoological park yes it is man made so option 1 2 and 4 is correct so just check which option map match with the 1 2 and 4 so option c is correct so just check we are on the right path or not so option c is correct that means we are on the right path so i hope you love this video enjoy this video gain some knowledge some perspective about x to in situ conservation is example and what are the definition of in situ and x to conservation so namaskaram thank you